I'd like to thank Gordon and Phil for having me here. It's a great opportunity. And thank all of you for being here to support the arts. That's wonderful. I appreciate it. I also want to thank my husband for all the very hard work that he's done carrying these stones, etc. for me. I wanted to tell you that I grew up surrounded by art. Um, there were paintings in the house, and uh, it was just a house full of creativity. Um, my father is Belgian, and he was a painter. He studied at Beaux Arts. My mother was a, a painter and naive. But I think her greatest achievement was the fact that she was um, very able to tell a good story. And she would keep us three children enthralled for hours, probably from fighting too. Um, for eight hours, we used to sit in the car driving from Pidiel's Loop to Magog, Quebec. And um, it was a long haul. She kept us happy. And that, that, um, the fact that she could tell a story, I think, translates today into my art. I tell a story, and I, I also verbally do it, I suppose, with my poems. Um, at the cottage, we used to um, go for long walks with my mom, and I was touching everything. I touched all the trees. Texture is really important. My fingertips love texture. <laughs> and um, I was always late for everything because I was so busy dawdling. I was late getting back to the cottage. I was late eating because I was using the potatoes as my canvas. So it was the last time finishing a meal. Um, but I think that all of that came together in my mark making um, in my, on my stones. I also, um, I have the added advantage now of being able to fly places and to look down upon the earth. And on this earth there are rivers and you see all of that so clearly from the air, but they almost become like abstract paintings. And I use those marks in my, in my uh, work. Um, what else can I tell you? I think in grade two, that was when my career was launched. <laughs> it sounds a bit weird, but um, the Sherbrooke exhibition was on, and uh, I was I submitted a, a painting or a drawing that I had done of Main Street in Sherbrooke, Quebec, and uh, I won twenty five cents, but I, was, but I was first prize, and it was wonderful. I could not believe how great I felt that somebody liked what I had done. Wow. And so here I am today, <laughs> doing it for you, and I hope you love it. Um, I always, I did something, I always did something. I drew, I painted, I cut out, and uh, had great fun doing so. But my father was a, an immigrant, a Belgian immigrant, mm -hmm. and his daughter was going to get a BSc at university. And that was not quite in the cards, that wasn't me. And... Uh, I did go into interior design and eventually left to do my art. And I've been doing my art ever since. I uh, started off by doing animals, by doing children, and I was working in clay at the time. So uh, clay eventually showed its limitations to me. But before it did, I was making nuns. And I, most of Quebec, um, was schooled in a convent. Most of us were schooled in convents, and uh, so nuns were very popular, and uh, they sold really well. And when my mind, <laughs> they did, they sold very well. And when my mind started, when I started to see things in an abstract way and wanted to present them, um, just the essence of the nun, I realized that I made a harder time selling. And so I delayed it for a little bit. <laughs> And eventually, I, I couldn't deny myself any longer. And I moved to Ottawa. I went to the Ottawa School of Art. I won a scholarship. I um, studied stone sculpting and discovered that it really was my medium. It's the thing that I love. And um, from the Ottawa School of Art, I went to London, England. And um, I showed quite a few galleries there, and uh, also uh, I did well. I enjoyed it. I went to Italy. I studied uh, marble carving in Italy. Then I went to um, the U.S. and I'm now home. And I, I 
I've been gone for about 10 years in total, and I am very happy to be home. And I'm also very happy to be able to share all the experiences that, that I had that I can translate into my art to you. So I thank you very much for being here this <laughs> evening. Thank you. And, uh,